And the stage is set for a clash of the candidates at the Fox Theater. Trump, Rubio, Cruz, and Kasich. Just a few short hours from a debate that will cap a day of political fireworks. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Local 4 News at 6. It has been an election cycle like no other. And anything can happen on the debate stage tonight at the Fox Theater. And right now, press from all over the world descending on Detroit to cover the GOP presidential debate coming up this evening. There will be just four men on stage, but really this one, uh, one has a bullseye on his back, that's for sure. That's the front runner, Donald Trump. Let's get right to Mara McDonald. She is live at the Fox Theater tonight. We're expecting a, a good show, Mara. I think we are expecting a good show, Carmen. I think that everybody is going to be gunning for Trump. But as with any good show, take a look right here. We already have protesters starting to assemble because this is going to resemble a circus tonight. Mitt is a failed candidate. He failed. He failed horribly. Donald Trump had zero problem firing back at ultra-establishment Republican Mitt Romney today. Romney calling on GOP primary voters to give Trump the heave-ho, a strategy that many on the ground here aren't so sure did anything but help Trump. I respect Mitt Romney a lot. Um, you know, I think there is an audience that listens to him, but I think a lot of Trump voters, I think he reinstilled why they're voting for him. Our primary is Tuesday, and while every poll has shown Trump winning here, Michigan doles out delegates proportionately and is the last state to do so. After us, it's all winner take all states. You have candidates who are going to do anything they can to walk out of here with some delegates in their column, which means what goes down on stage tonight could make a cage match look tame. If you were advising Rubio, what would you tell him to do tonight? He better punch for a knockout. If you were advising Cruz, what would you tell him to do tonight? He better punch for a knockout. And Kasich? Same thing. It's the only hope. Back here live on Media Row, you can see just a small portion of the media that has assembled out here for this. And Devin Carmen, I think the key thing to remember right now as we go into this tonight is this. I have not seen one poll of the Michigan primary that suggests that Donald Trump is not the front runner and by a substantial margin. Yep. Devin Carmen. Back to you. It's true. And you know what? And confidence is nothing that he's short on, but how does he maintain that lead here and win the primary? You know what, Carmen? I think there is no question among the people, the GOP insiders, the people who work, you know, for candidates mm -hmm. and who do the groundwork here, that Donald Trump is going to win the primary here. I haven't heard anybody say that's not going to happen. I think the question becomes who comes in two and who comes in three and what do their totals look like and what kind of delegates can they pull? All Back right. to you. We're just a few hours away. From Showtime. That's one part of setting the stage. The scene setter really started this morning, didn't it? The fireworks started with Mitt Romney going after Donald Trump. And Romney didn't endorse any candidates, but made it clear he believes any of the remaining Republicans in the field are a better option than Trump. He's playing the members of the American public for suckers. He gets a free ride to the White House, and all we get is a lousy hat. Watch, by the way, how he responds to my speech today. This may tell you what you need to know about his temperament his stability, and his suitability to be president. I backed Mitt Romney. I backed him. You can see how loyal he is. He was begging for my endorsement. I could have said, Mitt, drop to your knees. He would have dropped to his knees. He was begging. So that sets the stage for what's ahead tonight, but that's not the only debate on the schedule. Ahead of Sunday night's Democratic debate that's going to happen in Flint, Hillary Clinton is going to be visiting Detroit tomorrow. She'll deliver a speech on jobs and the economy at 2.30 at Detroit Manufacturing Systems on Southfield Road. We'll have that covered for you as well.